Okay, now we're going to go over uh, some things a programmer might need to know. Um, so, here's a file. If I hit F5, it does this. Um, let's convert it so that it can, uh, instead of running just in time, let's convert it so that it can be compiled into a binary. So we say uh, include then uh, F, F4 then go to OS main and uh, go to static atom and then uh, change that to uh, colon uh, okay so um, what this does is it uh, imports all the uh, symbols in Atom um, so uh, save that then uh, let's uh, static compile Uh oh, okay, well, let's just, uh, get rid of that static compile, unused variable, okay, that's just a warning, uh, so now we have a, a binary file, um, we can, uh, load it, and it automatically runs because we had uh, the uh, um, because this had that that call down at the bottom, so it automatically ran. Now, if we do bin rep uh, test dot bin dot z, uh, this tells. Uh, the module it's a line it's aligned to one it's got no alignment um, it's got seven absolute addresses that needed patching it, it exports draw it song task in rows <coughs> um, main is a uh, this is you can have multiple main routines and uh, it imports uh, the following uh, symbols uh, so uh, you can um, you can have deferred uh, imports it doesn't have to exist at the time anyway uh, so that's that um, let's go look at some assembly uh, in the demo assembly direct uh, directory buzzfizz um, you want to uh, to use enter and leave for your functions because uh, um, the base pointer is used by uh, uh, the wallpaper and stuff or I don't know yeah for the wallpaper it's used to figure out the uh, the uh, it to trace the stack there's there's a function called caller uh, which will uh, return whoever called a, uh, a task and it can go up the stack um, so uh, use the enter and leave and uh, um, so you can either import or you can use these uh, ampersand uh, and uh, so this is buzzfizz uh, instead of define byte you use du8 because it's an unsigned 8-bit and you have to put a semicolon on the end of these um, and uh, I put these defines outside um, just out of habit they can go inside too um, so this is buzzfizz uh, anyway uh, that's an assembly I'd hit F5 um, you can only include these once most most uh, most code you can, if it's C, you can include it multiple times and it just overshadows. But with assembly, uh, you get errors because it does forward references. Uh, assembly can uh, jump ahead, jump ahead, 
and so therefore uh, redefining screws it up. Um, now we're going to go uh, look at, uh, we're going to do some profiling. This is how you uh, um, figure out uh, how to optimize. So we go to game starters and uh, eagle dive. This is the flight simulator. Um, first of all, we say dock. Uh, Doc max that sets the uh, com the command line buffer to unlimited. That's so that it won't uh, run off this. You want the the buffer not to overflow. Then we say prof all, and that'll profile all. You can you can do multiple levels deep. Um, then we say prof. Uh, we don't have to put these all on one line. Um, these are all main, and then we say prof rep. Now, if we want this to go to, uh, well, anyway, so F5. So uh, right now we're a thousand times a second we're recording where it is. Um, so I hit shift escape, and then we get a profile report. Um, so. Uh, the, this is the update uh, the screen. That's where it's right into VGA memory. Um, converting H line is where it's uh, drawing the triangle, draw, drawing the triangles. Um, let's see what else we have. Uh, well, that's interesting. I think I don't know why that's uh, our time is uh, using a lot. Now it uh, it can't uh, uh, it has to uh, wait for uh, it, it does a lot of waiting on other cores, so it, it it's got a certain amount of idling that uh, that takes place. Uh, anyway, uh, now let's. Uh, Let's go look at um, uh, document forms. Um, okay, so um, when you declare a class, you can uh, declare metadata um, format string. These can be uh, any name. Format string is uh, one that's recognized. Um, and then uh, these are dollar sign uh, data. You want to use Control L to do these. Um, Control L will uh, help you with dollar sign commands. Um, anyway, or insert widget. So you say insert widget, and this is a, uh, a data entry, a data. Um, anyway, so you want to do those. Um, then. Uh, when this runs, it calls document form form do. That's do form. Uh, so um, um, we don't have to. Uh, well, anyway. Uh, so and then it uh, then we called class rep, like we talked about earlier, um, to show. Anyway. Uh, so. Now, uh, um, Sparrow OS has a uh, um, in uh, if we go Control D and then do OS main um, in the main uh, when it. The compiler has internal types. This is a U16 internal. Is a a U16 is a is a uh, when when the structure is taken together, it's a U16 internal. Uh, let me explain this. Uh, an I64 is a union of eight bytes unsigned, eight bytes signed. Four by four, four words, or two uh, D words. Anyway, um, so it's a union. 
and uh, but it's also one uh, value. Um, so uh, um, when we uh, when we set a, a q q equal to that, then we can access the the sub words and sub bytes. Um, anyway, uh, and uh, you can even do sub sub. Anyway, uh, so this uh, is. It's actually not very efficient because it forces it out. It won't use register variables if you do that. Um, anyway, uh, um, let's let's look at uh, the help for um, debugging. I just want to go over some things. Uh, so, dump document dump uh, is dynamic, um, so you can edit and uh, change. Uh, if you if you just do. Uh, Dump. Uh, let's say. Uh, let's 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 dump the. Uh, oh no, better not. Um, this is the task record. Um, and if you say document dump, then it's dynamic, and we can edit it. Um, anyway, um, uh, mostly I do printf debugging because uh, it's. Uh, well, you'll find out. Um, now you can do raw output um, to the uh, um, DBG. This is raw output. If you have a task that doesn't have a window, you can do raw output. Um, you can uh, you can turn on. You can do C trace to trace the output of the compiler. Um, if you're curious about the assembly, um, there's a unassemble function, there's unassemble, and then you, you give the uh, function an offset, or unassemble function, and it'll tell you the registers as well. Anyway, uh, uh, so there's a, you can get a stack report, uh, anyway. Um, so go into the help and look at debugging. Um, now uh, I want to go over a couple things. Uh, in my uh, disk code, uh, when it's uh, waiting for um, activity, it's waiting for a port to change from busy, and then it does a yield. Um, what this is, uh, um, I can. This can. Uh, it takes half a microsecond to swap tasks, so uh, this uh, um, it actually takes longer to read the port than it does to do the to swap a task. Now this is not for servers; it's for uh, um, home computers with people uh, doing recreational programming. So you might have uh, I don't know ten tasks. How many? Anyway, so it goes through the tasks and. Uh, um, gets back to this task. It goes in the circle and then gets back to this task. Uh, so uh, that's how I do I.O. Now if you're curious why uh, um, why uh, you can't um, if you're curious why uh, why uh, you can't access you can't do some things when when it's busy um, if if there's a big disk request, it, it doesn't break it into pieces. That's just the way this uh, works. It's simpler. Oh, I, I don't. It doesn't do sharing. Um, it doesn't do locks. So don't uh, don't do anything stupid. Um, that's just the um, the that's the 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 way this works. Anyway, I want to go over one more thing. Um, uh, Let's go over exceptions. Um, exceptions uh, are done with a throw, uh, and it's a um, variadatic or whatever. I, for, I don't. I can't say that word. Um, and uh, when when you catch, uh, you you have a um, off the, the FS segment register, F, off the task record you have argv and argc, and that's how you access the uh, the. Uh, Values that were thrown, um, and then if you want to catch it, you say fs catch exception. And uh, anyway, so uh, that's how exceptions work. Um,